tales of a queen cloaked in myth and moonlight. She was Cleopatra, the serpent of the Nile, her beauty as intoxicating as the lotus flower, yet her touch as venomous as an asp. Today we untangle the gilded threads of her legend, revealing the truth beneath the painted mask. Hello everyone, and welcome to History Sage, the channel where we explore the weird, the wonderful, and the dirty secrets of the past. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most famous and fascinating women in history, Cleopatra, the Queen of the Nile. You may think you know Cleopatra from movies, books, or paintings, but there's a lot more to her than meets the eye. She was not just a beautiful seductress who charmed two of the most powerful men in the ancient world, Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. She was also a brilliant ruler, a cunning politician, a skilled linguist, and a patron of the arts and sciences. But Cleopatra's life was also full of drama, intrigue, and scandal. She was the product of incest, she had a hand in the deaths of three of her siblings, and she bet millions on a single meal. These are just some of the dirty facts about Cleopatra that you didn't know. So, if you're ready to discover the truth behind the legend, stay tuned and watch this video until the end. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to History Sage for more amazing stories from the past. Let's get started. Cleopatra was the last queen of the Ptolemaic dynasty that ruled Egypt for almost three centuries. She is one of the most famous and influential figures in history, known for her love affairs with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony, her political and military achievements, and her tragic death by suicide. In this essay, I will discuss some of the lesser-known aspects of her life and personality. Cleopatra was not Egyptian, but Greek. Her family, the Ptolemies, came from Macedonia, a region in northern Greece, and inherited Egypt after the death of Alexander the Great. They adopted some Egyptian customs, such as worshipping the local gods and mummifying their dead, but they also kept their Greek culture and language. Cleopatra was the first Ptolemaic ruler to learn Egyptian, and she also spoke several other languages, such as Hebrew, Arabic, and Latin. She presented herself as the reincarnation of the goddess Isis and tried to win the support of the Egyptian people. Cleopatra was the product of incest. The Ptolemies practiced incestuous marriages to preserve their bloodline and avoid sharing power with outsiders. Cleopatra married both of her brothers, Ptolemy XIII and Ptolemy XIV, and she may have also had an incestuous relationship with her father, Ptolemy XV. These marriages were often unstable and violent, as the siblings competed for the throne and the favor of Rome. The family trees show the incestuous unions of the Ptolemies, marked with red lines. Cleopatra's beauty wasn't her biggest asset. Cleopatra's reputation as a seductive beauty was largely created by Roman propaganda, especially by Octavian, who wanted to portray her as a dangerous and immoral enemy. Her physical appearance was not as remarkable as her intelligence and charisma. She was educated in various subjects, such as mathematics, philosophy, astronomy, and medicine, and she impressed many people with her eloquence and charm. She knew how to use her feminine allure to manipulate and persuade men, but she also had genuine feelings for Caesar and Antony. The coins and statues below depict Cleopatra, and they can be compared with the more idealized portraits that were made later by artists and filmmakers. Cleopatra had a hand in the deaths of three of her siblings. Cleopatra was involved in the murders of her brothers Ptolemy the Thiend and Ptolemy the Fourteenth, and her sister Arsinoe, who were all her rivals for the throne of Egypt. She used her alliances with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony to eliminate her siblings and she also faced several assassination attempts from her enemies. She was ruthless and ambitious, but she also had to survive in a violent and chaotic world. Cleopatra once bet Mark Antony that she could spend 10 million sesterces on a single meal. Cleopatra and Mark Antony had a lavish and extravagant lifestyle, and they often competed with each other in games and bets. 
Cleopatra won the bet by dissolving one of her priceless pearl earrings in vinegar and drinking it, and this was considered a sign of her wealth and power. She also gave Antony a magnificent banquet where every dish was made of gold. She wanted to impress him and show him her generosity and magnificence. Cleopatra was a master of disguise and espionage. Cleopatra used various methods and tricks to conceal her identity and spy on her enemies, and she also employed a network of agents and informers to gather information and spread rumors. She disguised herself as a servant, a maid, a sailor, and even a corpse, and she also used secret messages, codes, and symbols to communicate with her allies. She was cunning and resourceful, and she knew how to adapt to different situations and circumstances. Cleopatra was a devoted mother and a ruthless ruler. Cleopatra had four children, one with Julius Caesar and three with Mark Antony, and she tried to secure their future and inheritance by making them rulers of different regions. She named her son Caesar Caesarian, meaning Little Caesar, and she claimed that he was the true heir of Rome. She also gave her children Antony titles, such as King of Kings and Queen of Queens, and she planned to create a new empire with them. There you have it, folks, a glimpse into the scandalous and dirty facts surrounding the enigmatic Queen Cleopatra. History is never as clean as it seems, and Cleopatra's story is no exception. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more captivating historical revelations. Until next time, keep exploring the hidden corners of the past.